what are the right business tools, the ones that I can afford and the ones that can scale. So because I often receive all of these questions from my community about what business tools I use, I'm just going to create this video and tell you about my favorite business tools that I really can't live without. And to make it very easy for you, you can find all the links in the description down below this video. Well, let's get started. Okay, business tool number one, answerthepublic.com. Gosh, I could not live without answerthepublic.com. What I love about it, it actually shows you what people are searching for on Google. Let me show you an example. So let's say I'm a coach who helps with weight loss using a ketogenic diet, for instance. So what I would do is I will pull up answerthepublic.com and then I would type in ketogenic diet as my two keywords. And then I would choose the country in which I want to look for, right? So for instance, if you're in the UK, you can put in UK, but I'm in the US, so I will put in the US. So, and when it loads the results, you can see here, it says, is ketogenic diet safe? Can a ketogenic diet cause gallstones? Based on what answerthepublic.com gives you, you can now create content. And this is really why I love this so much because once you dial down into your niche, you can really figure out what it is that you wanna talk about on social media based on what people are actually Googling. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, business tool number two, Flowdesk. Oh gosh, I can't tell you how much I love Flowdesk. I'm like a really big fan. Here's the thing. Building an email list when you start out your business is the most crucial aspect of your entire business. Because one, it allows you to establish a closer relationship with your customer, but here's the other big important piece. You have ownership of your audience, right? If you rely solely on getting leads from like Instagram or TikTok, right? And then change the algorithm, then your business might be in really big trouble. And this is why it's really key to convert your followers on social over to your email list. What I really love about Flowdesk, it's so easy to use. I am a product person, so I really love a good UI. But I mean, like, look how easy it is to like create really nice templates and you can create workflows, you can segment your audience. It's like awesome. And while a lot of email programs offer free plans, right, to get you in the door, Trojan horse, just saying, it's way better to just start off with the right platform from the beginning because these big companies know once you're in the door, it's harder to get you out the door, right? Once you scale, the problem is with all the other ones, like the more contacts you have, the more you pay. With Flowdesk, the more contacts you have, you always pay the same amount yearly. As a business owner, you need to predict your cash flow and Flowdesk helps you to do this. And I work in big companies and email can cost up to like six, seven figures sometimes. And what I love about Flowdesk too, is like you can create really easy landing pages or like opt-in pages to deliver your lead magnet. They look good and they convert. And that's really what I love about them. Like I can create this in less than two minutes and I don't even have to have a website. So if you have like a product idea, just start with Flowdesk and you can create a landing page. I have like tons of tutorials around this, by the way, as well on this channel. So definitely check them out. And I will make sure to put a link in the description below, but it's so easy with Flowdesk and that's why I love it. And the good news is I also have a really great promo code where you get 50% off. So check it out. It's in the description down below. Okay, another of my favorite business tools in the world is Show It. <laughs> So show it is really great for building websites, right? There's so many different software programs outside that you can use, right? Like WordPress, Squarespace. First of all, like you can customize everything. I love this, right? And it's like super easy to customize. I feel WordPress is a little bit user unfriendly and Squarespace kind of limits a little bit your creativity. So show it kind of like offers everything you need. And that's really, really what I love about it. But here's the other thing too. When you build your website, you have questions, right? Like you have to probably at some point reach out to customer support. And I actually think there's no better customer support right now like that ever counted that is as good as show it. They respond super quickly to your messages and they even sent you like some gifts. It's pretty cool. They're awesome and they're just an awesome company and you can see like that in their product. And that's the thing. I really appreciate companies that prioritize providing an excellent user experience, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> so yeah, anything that's easy. Because again, time is money, right? And when you build your side hustle, you really need to think about 
how can you maximize leverage? And those platforms will really help you with this. And here's another thing too, if you've been thinking about hiring a designer or a, like an engineer to create your website, what's really cool with Show It is it can integrate with Tonic templates. So Tonic is another company and they have these stunning web pages where like even they have great sales pages that you can just plug and play into Show It. And I mean, I think they're like a thousand dollars, but if you think about hiring an engineer to build your website, I can tell you it's probably more expensive than a thousand dollars. So this is why I love Show It so much. Okay, another business tool I can't live without is TubeBuddy. So if you aspire to become a YouTuber, you have to get TubeBuddy. It's like a must have tool. It's a non-negotiable. One of the things, because I work in product, is I love A-B testing. TubeBuddy has a feature where you can A-B test literally your thumbnails and your video titles. And it's pretty crazy. I mean, like look at these results here. This is just insane. I would have never known that one thing is better converting than the other one. And you know, it's, it's just awesome. So definitely check it out. It's super, super helpful. I even use it to check if my title actually will be good for my audience and whether or not I'm going to go rank on YouTube or not. Because again, time is very limited and I want to make sure that whatever I film will actually get pushed in search. Okay, next up, another tool I can't live without is Stripe. Stripe is literally your payment processing platform. And if you're a business, you need to process payments, right? So if you don't have that, that's a pretty big problem. But here's another thing that a lot of people actually don't know about when it comes to Stripe. You can create like payment links with Stripe. It's super cool. So it looks very professional as you can see here. And many people are really not even aware that they can do this. So instead of sending an invoice that looks kind of weird or so, or like send, asking someone to pay you via uh, PayPal or, or Venmo, this looks way more professional. And what I really even love about this more or so is every time I create an MVP, so like I have an idea of what I wanna sell, but I don't know whether or not it's gonna sell, I literally just put out a Stripe payment link, see if someone transacts, and then I built the product. And the other piece too that I really love about Stripe is it features subscriptions. So this is really, really cool because what I always preach <laughs> is when you want to make your side hustle your full-time gig, you need monthly recurring revenue and subscriptions is really one huge part of it. Speaking of, Another tool I can't live without is MemberUp. So MemberUp is an incredibly cool new platform that in my opinion is kind of like flying under the radar right now, also in terms of pricing. What I mentioned is when you're building a side hustle with the goal of turning it into your full-time gig one day, your primary focus should be on generating monthly recurring revenue. MRR, that's the number one thing. And so you will see that the way to do it is not to sell just an online course, but rather sell a membership to a community where your community can access your content. So there is like a shift happening right now in the marketplace and you will see this more and more. Here in the content area, you can create a success path, how to get you from A to Z, super cool. You have the events here. You can even customize the look and feel, change the color and the branding. Pretty cool, I would say. <laughs> Next up is video.ai. So if you study the world's most prominent coaches and entrepreneurs, you'll notice a little bit of a pattern. So for instance, when you look at Lewis House, right? What you notice is that they use their long form content and they break it into smaller pieces and then they post it on social media. Again, Lewis House does it, Brendan Bouchard does it, Alex Hamosi does it. <laughs> However, if you're just starting out, hiring a video idea might not be an option for you because of money, right? So not a problem. That's why you have video.ai. Let me give you a really quick demo because I was blown away. I just recently found out about this tool and I was like, wow, this is exactly what I need. <laughs> because here's the thing, what no one tells you when you start creating content is that editing actually consumes most of the time. And I would have never imagined it, but yeah, it is. Isn't that cool? And it also automatically adds the captions to it, which I really love. Okay, another tool I can't live without is ChatGPT. 
of course. <laughs> I'm not a native speaker and for me the fear of making grammar mistakes was really the main reason what was holding me back when I started out with my business. So this is why I really love ChatGPT because you can just say check for grammar or rewrite it to make it clearer or make it a little bit funnier or tailor it to this certain customer profile. So that's really why I love ChatGPT so much. It's like hiring an editor-in-chief for free. <laughs> Really. Okay, next up is Ride Sonic. So I don't know if you're like me, but I used to stare at a blank piece of paper or blank piece of Google Doc really a lot, suffering from writer's blog. And what I love about Ride Sonic is that that is really like a thing of the past. Because here's what you can do with Ride Sonic you put in your keywords and then it shows you different articles that rank really highly on SEO. And then out of these articles, it creates a net new article. And then you can use that, plug it into ChatGPT and rewrite a little bit and there you go. <laughs> This is how you create blog posts these days. Very, very simple. Another business tool I can't live without is Contract Shop. If you're anything like me, navigating the legal aspect of your side hustle is a little bit scary and overwhelming, right? I'm not a lawyer. So that's why I really love Contract Shop because they offer all the documents that you need to have and they're just really like foolproof templates. You download it after you purchase it and then you have kind of like really the, the blanks highlighted where you just fill in your company information and then that's it. I know that Jack Kutcher uses them as well. So these are really, really great templates and they're super easy to use. So definitely check them out. Okay, another business tool I can't live without is Azana. So as your business grows, the need for like systems becomes really, really apparent. Things can get really chaotic because there's more and more adding to your plate and then you need to outsource it to different people. And that's why I'm such a huge fan of Azana because it's like a one-stop solution for everything in my business and it really keeps me organized. I can easily assign tasks to like team members. I can easily monitor progress. I hate sending emails ugh, so much. And with Azana, I eliminate the need to send endless emails, right? Because I can just see did that person do the work, yes or not. And the other thing too that I really love about Azana is every time you like check the box and you check it off your list, it gamifies the experience. I think it's pretty cool. And the other thing I use it for is also to collect all of my knowledge. So for instance, for YouTube, every time I learn something new, I just add it to the list. So I have kind of a template with all the knowledge around how to optimize for YouTube. 